Welcome back to another little bit of Lisp. This time we're going to be looking at some of the functions that are going to give you the lengths of things, namely the, the function called length and array total size, array dimension, and we're going to include this as well because it kind of fits in with this story, so it's worth looking at. Um, so yeah, what have we got so far? We've got uh, a few variables set up here. We can see this array zero up here holds a um, single dimensional array, also known as a vector, um, with three elements in it. We've got this two-dimensional array here with, we can see, two rows and three columns. Um, and we can see we've got a list here, uh, just with four elements. So let's try these different functions on each of these, and we'll have a look at what happens. So if we try length for, st for starters on array zero, we can see that we get the length back, and that's what we'd expect. And also for our list, uh, we also get the length back as we would expect. Length works over sequences, and common um, you know, uh, subtypes of sequence are vector, which is, remember, a one-dimensional array, and list. So both of these are going to work. Now, we have here a two-dimensional array. So let's have a look at what that is. And if we do the uh, length of array one, we get this error. And it helpfully tells us that this thing is not a sequence. Like I said, the common subtypes are vector, which is a one-dimensional array, and list. So you can't use length on this guy uh, because there could be different, I mean, could have different meanings on that. So what we can use instead um, is a function called array total size. And what that's going to do is it's going to give you, um, so if you give it an array, this vector is just going to tell us three. If we give it array one, course we're going to get six this isn't going to work on a list because a list isn't an array but we can see that we're getting um so again i guess two times three so the number of rows times the number of columns in this case which is handy now you might want to know the dimension of just one um sorry the size of just one of the dimensions so we can use array dimension and we can pass in the array so array one this is going to obviously course it's going to be valid um, more useful for multi-dimensional arrays we'll only look at that here so we can um, put in axis zero and we can see axis zero which is talking about the rows we've got two rows and axis one we've got three columns so that's the first two axes of our multi-dimensional array so you can get the sizes of both of those uh, you might also want to know um, how many how many dimensions you've got um, so we can use array dimensions on AIR1, and we can see that it's a 2 by 3 matrix. And again, while this isn't really, I mean, that, that is one of the things that gets you kind of size information, so it's worth including here. Um, yeah, it's a little different from these because it's not just giving you a single scalar value. But that's it. That's all we need for this one. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I'll see you in another video next time.